So we hear a lot about big discoveries that are being made in the SickKids Research Institute with respect to cancer genetics, but how many of those discoveries have really made it all the way to patient care? This is the first time where I've really been able to take the discoveries that we've been making, for example, in the Brain Tumor Research Center and really move them into the diagnostic arena, be able to go to rounds and talk about the actual molecular results um, with the clinicians and we're able to make clinical decisions using this additional information. taken some of the big discoveries in the big pediatric cancers, sarcoma, low-grade glioma, medulloblastoma, leukemia, and developed tests uh, that take advantage of that genetic information that's been coming out of the research side and actually apply it to the children. So the first one that we did was based on work from Michael Taylor's lab where they had identified four different subgroups of medulloblastoma and using uh, some of the research that Michael had done, we used those definitions of the subgroups to implement a test uh, in the diagnostic department to find those subgroups out of basically any kind of tissue. This nanostring-based test basically takes RNA out of the tissue, and once we've determined that it's a medulloblastoma by looking at it under the microscope, we can then shave that tissue, take the RNA, and determine which of those four. And which of the four subgroups you have makes a big difference in terms of how we expect that tumor to behave, how aggressive should we be in terms of therapy. Sick Kids, I think, is one of the first labs in North America that's really been developing these technologies for pediatric cancer diagnosis. For medulloblastoma, we're one of the only labs in, in North America and I think throughout the world that's offering this testing right now. And so we get uh, samples sent in from throughout Canada, the U.S., and, and other parts of the world to, to provide this information for their clinicians as well. And that's one of the things that's also been exciting for me is that um, because we've developed this test, in a sort of robust way and in a way that's not particularly expensive, it's made it available to a wide uh, a variety of children from um, both developing and developed countries.